Hi, well, well, it's the end of another day, yeah. and um, Saturday the 6th of July I'm going to go with, and uh, yeah, got out and about today, um, also um, moved from my river anchorage, um, where I've been from that wet Monday arrival until today, um, so yeah, what, five nights I guess, um, out in the river. So I'm now in the Port Bundaberg Marina. Um, so I came in this morning around about 10ish and um, stopped at the fuel dock on the way in. So topped up the diesel and the spare diesel tanks and stuff like that. So I'm good to go again for a while. Um, to be honest, I think it's, it's only my second fill since I left home. So uh, yeah, um, she runs on the smell of not much. And uh, obviously I sail most of the time, so um, good. So I then got myself into my berth here um, and uh, enjoyed a hot shower. First thing I did, um, not, I had one yesterday, it's okay, but you know, I'm enjoying them. Um, so anyway, I then basically was put on to this guy, Peter. Um, he used to drive, he started Uber off apparently here in Bundaberg or in the Bundaberg area um, and now drives for himself pretty much so uh, I booked him and he uh, drove me into uh, Bundaberg scenic road very nice guys so learned so much actually about the area uh, which is fantastic um, so I wandered around Bundaberg a while and um, it was nice sunny and then the rain came so I thought, okay, I'm done. So I went and did my grocery shopping um, and uh, called Peter up and we actually came back here via the hummock. Um, the hummock is that peak that you could see if you've watched the previous videos as I arrived in Bundaberg last Monday, it was the peak you could see in the distance ahead of us. Um, it is an extinct volcano and it is responsible for all that volcanic rock that I was talking about yesterday when I was saying it reminds me of Samoa because of all the volcanic rock around the place. So anyway, that was interesting. So um, he actually took me up to the top and I got some video up there, which you'll see shortly. Um, yeah, fantastic views. It's not hugely high so much as the land around it is completely flat and so rich. Um, yeah, the soil is just incredible. The volcanic soil and of course the alluvial um, sort of floods, plains and stuff as the Burnett River is obviously flooded and not over time. So um, area is very rich in sugarcane, sweet potato. It's probably about 70% of sweet potatoes in Australia are produced here. Um, strawberries and macadamias. So um, very rich area and uh, as you can see from uh, the hummock, you can just see the color of the soil. It's just so rich. Anyway, without yabbering on too much more, um, this is what happened today. Good morning on Saturday, the 6th of July, 2024. Um, yes, still here in the Burnett River near Bundaberg. Um, the wind is still here. No show without punch, um, but the sun's here, so that's nice. Uh, the wind is slightly lessening, but uh, it's certainly taking its sweet time in doing so. Um, I am literally about to start up the engine, and I'm going to take the boat down to Port Bundaberg Marina, where I've booked myself in for a couple of nights. Bit of luxury like, you know. Um, so yeah, I'll have access to power. I'm going to fuel up as I go into the marina, so I'm all topped up. Um, then I'll be able to top up water, charge all my devices, um, which I can do more quickly on shore power. So looking forward to that and a hot shower. Always good. Anyway, let's see what the day brings after that.
Okay, that's the jerry cans filled and the actual main tank of the boats is now been topped up as well. We're uh, good to move to the next thing, which is to find our snug little berth. Here we go. Just fits nice and perfectly. All moored up. And, oh, big neighbours. I don't think they're doing much. The cruises out to Lady Musgrave won't be on, not with 30-odd knot winds out there. Anyway, I better go up to the office, pay, and then have a shower. Beautiful rich country, very flat, and sugar cane, sugar cane, sugar cane. There's plenty of it. Okay, well, here we are in downtown Bundaberg. Just had a great ride with a guy called Peter, who does Uber and a few other things. Um, yeah, very uh, likeable and informative street the main streets here and uh, the post office that's what I love about coming to these country towns they still have the old buildings preserved there's not this great thing to knock them all down and put up some glass and steel monstrosity um, which seems to be the best we can do these days here we have the School of Arts which is quite arty 1888 Nice to see these still here. Yes, more remembrance gardens. I guess in country towns they really feel it. Um, because of course people who don't come back from the war. Somebody, well sorry, everybody will know somebody. Yes, and uh, H.J. Albert Hinkler, um, renowned here for, as an aviator, and I believe there's actually a museum uh, to him um, in this town. I know this will be unpopular, but what always made me wonder is you know, there's money to build these, and there's people out there with nowhere to live. I know that was then, and that's a problem now, but still, something, something's out of balance. Yeah, looking back towards uh, Bourbon Street, and around, oh geez. Um, no shortage of money here, if we know what paint's worth. Down here at the Burnett River in uh, Bundaberg, um, yes it is navigable up to here. Uh, obviously beyond the bridges not so much for yachts however um, yeah I did read there is a lot of debris on the bottom and the chances of fouling your anchor are quite great so oh, no thank you and looking down the river towards where I am moored well not moored in the marina He had a seriously bad trip. A discouraging word is heard. Ooh, hope it misses us. Uh, makes you wonder what happened here in its day. Buzzing with people, probably. This is the shame of our town and cities, towns and cities even. And next to that, you got this kind of thing, which will be empty. Room in there, people. And here we are on the hummock, the extinct volcanic cano. This, this rock looks like dog rock in uh, Albany in Western Australia. Anyway, just me, I guess. Um, yeah, so looking over, looking south now, you can see the richness of the soil. Um, that rain cloud is covering a little bit, but it's still... We got here between rain showers. Um, so yeah, sugarcane, macadamia, strawberries, sweet potatoes, all really um, strong producers here. And this volcano, of course, was responsible for that volcanic rock I spoke of. Yeah, so this car park here on top of the mount is, uh, we're actually standing on what was once the crater. But the view all around is just amazing. Now we're looking towards Bundaberg, where I've just come from. And yeah, swimming 
coming around basically. We're now looking out towards the uh, where the marina is, basically at the uh, port. You can just see the river disappearing behind the bushes there. And beyond that is the sea. And if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes. It will change. <laughs> Thank you for watching another fast forward to Queensland video. As always, don't forget to like, comment on YouTube and subscribe to Dawn Radar.